Yeah, watch this anime. I like authenticity. I like authentic characters. Everyone's unique and everyone's different. Everyone has a different personality. I know how cliche that sounds, but that is true. Everyone is a different person. And I like when media portrays this accurately. A story is only as good as its characters. That's why I go so hard on anime because uh, they tell a lot of great stories, but the characters are usually insufferable, unrealistic, annoying, just in general, bad characters. Bad characters that no one wants to fucking watch or listen to. And when an anime or a video game actually portrays characters in such an authentic manner, I want to talk about them. And when he does such an awful job, I still want to talk about it. Hibane Renme is probably one of the most underrated anime of all time. In my opinion, I think it's the best anime of all time. So of course, no one ever decided to, you know, give it the chance and actually watch it. Now personally, I don't watch a lot of anime. I don't spend my time looking for some obscure shit that no one has ever heard of. I usually just watch what people say is good, you know. And man, I should actually stop doing that shit. Because Jesus Christ, bruh, I have watched a lot of trash. We're not human, are we? Nobody knows exactly what we are. One of the high points of the series is the chemistry between Raka and Reki. The story of Haibane Renme follows two main characters, Raka and Reki. And the anime doesn't actually make this clear initially that Reki is a main character. So there's a spoiler there. And I point this out because I don't think there's any other piece of media I've ever consumed where it's not apparent uh, who the main characters are in, in a story. And the chemistry. If that was the only thing this show had going for it, it'll still be a solid show. The chemistry between Raka and Reki it's it's that good. It is really, really good. And if I'm to disappear someday without accomplishing anything, what's the meaning of my existence? You know, at one time, I felt the same way as you. <gasps> I think there is a meaning, but only you can find it. Raka is a very interesting character. She starts off as just a shy and curious character until she wasn't. She struggles and she knows she tries to adapt to her new circumstances as well. And I just appreciate the time they spent on the little things like this so you can properly empathize with them, the characters of the anime. And I, I really enjoy it and I think it was a very good idea. I think Raka is a 10 out of 10 character, <laughs> but Raki is something else. She really steals the show. Kind of, I mean, I won't say she steals the show, but she's pretty good. The amount of thought and care given to this character is insane. I've never seen a character, you know, written so well. Yeah. <laughs> and Abe, you didn't even need to make this character this good. Like, <laughs> you did not need to make a character this good. And I think she's honestly, yeah, my favorite. Okay, that's coming out now. She's a close second. She's a close second. But she's really one of my favorite characters of all time. There's so much I want to see about this character, especially. But I don't want to spoil anything. Other characters like Kana, Hyoko, and Ku are very well written, even though they don't really have much screen time. They have very distinct personalities and they are not one dimensional. They're multi dimensional characters that grow and change throughout the series, which is extremely good, especially for, you know, side characters, you know, side characters that only have like 15 minutes at most of screen time and the show, and the show dedicated mainly to telling the stories of Raka and Reki. 
and you know keep in mind this show is only 13 episodes so you know there's really not much you can fit into it they really performed their miracle here yeah you really only got uh, 13 episodes but you know what i think it's a good thing that more important anime <laughs> is getting <laughs> is getting more episodes i guess you know we live in hell and in some ways nightmares are better than reality jokes aside though i think he was able to tell the story he wanted in 13 episodes i don't think it should be longer or shorter i think it was enough and something i keep coming back to is that these characters feel authentic right they feel like real people and they make decisions that make sense and these apply to all of the characters not only the side characters especially hyoko and ku but let me talk about hyoko first the amount of depth that he gave this character is astonishing. I like the new one's take on it, on this character. It's really nice, you know. I like how they don't tell you that. Wow, what he's doing is actually wrong, you know. Expect you know what I'm talking about if you watch the show. Like they don't say, wow, what he's doing is wrong. They expect you like to look at it and you know make a conclusion for yourself, or just like Lane does, Lane, just like the anime, very subjective, very abstract. But this one is less abstract, but I still like how it was handled. It was handled pretty well, I think. Even better in some aspects. Ku has some of the most subtle character developments in the show. It was really nice to see. I didn't even notice it in my... The first time I watched it, I didn't notice it. But then when I watched it again, I saw how she actually changed. You know, it's pretty nice. And she didn't completely change character, of course. She was, you know, still the same person, you know, for the most part. Now, I want to make this clear. If characters in a fictional story do not act the way you know, normal people act, it doesn't make the characters bad. It's just better. The world building of the show is really done well. You know, I usually don't pay attention to stuff like this. Usually, like, it kind of goes over my head. But it's so good. You know, I noticed it because it was so good. And I have to say, it's, you know, one of the best things about the show. I actually want to learn more about the world. Then there's the plot of Hibane Renme. Uh, not much to say about this. The plot of this anime plays second fiddle to the characters. This is because, as I said earlier, Hibane Renme is a character driven anime. The real plot starts around halfway through the show. That's when shit really goes down. <laughs> and it's pretty good, it's pretty solid. Definitely, you know. It's definitely better than most and the anime also does a good job creating such a rich atmosphere of dread and when a character is going through something hard it's easy to feel for the character and i feel like that's one of the major strengths of the show this uh anime succeeds everywhere else but i'll tell you one thing for sure this anime is not lane it is not even close to serial experiments lane you know it's not as it's confusing. I know a lot of people uh, consider Lane very confusing. Thank you. What makes this show different and special is that Abe was able to write a story by himself without any interference by any, you know, other factors. The music. 
Yeah, the music is pretty good. Psych! who don't listen to Kanye. The music in Hibernate Run My, you know, it doesn't blow you away, definitely, but in relation to the show, I think it works very well. I think well, some of the tracks are really fucking good, and they make some of the scenes hit. I would show you a scene around now, but I do not want to spoil the experience. So, uh, take my word for it. Yeah, trust, just trust me. And, you know, if you have the slightest interest in this anime, I recommend you watch it. You won't regret it. It's pretty good. I understand that you know the slow pacing that, you know not everyone will like it right that you know maybe it's just not for me I prefer action anime and you know I just want to make it clear that it's all right to have an opinion on that and also that you suck and no one loves you what can I say I'm kind of an asshole <laughs> Marvy is still better though real talk real talk, real talk.